Hello, my beautiful Aries, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of February the 15th up until February the 22nd. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Aries. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Aries. Thank you so much, my guides and my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my Aries are here seeking to find this week. What do we have for... Aries this week, always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember that this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And since it is a general reading, always remember that energies can indeed be reversed. All right, Aries, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the wow the king of pentacles look at this so somebody here is ready to offer you some kind of commitment it's sort of like this energy where they have been slowly um kind of coming to terms with themselves that they actually do want you that they actually do love you okay so there's this kind of energy where your person this week is snapping out of it okay they have been uh, this person has a tendency to overthink th things um this person has i feel like this tendency to want to make sure that everything is lined up that everything is picture perfect okay because you're dealing with a king of pentacles now especially this week so there's this energy where perhaps in the past your person was kind of getting a little bit lost in the details details overthinking you know how are we going to do this you know maybe this uh, person might be different than you as far as like age goes maybe there's like an age gap maybe you guys work together but there's this kind of energy where your person may have thought at one point wait maybe me and Aries are a little bit too different but I feel like not this week this week your person is kind of slowly coming to terms with the fact that they do want you in their lives okay now let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on here now again this could possibly be an opportunity in work. Maybe you guys have been wanting a job, um, maybe a, a higher position. And this, maybe your manager or the CEO feels like you are ready and you are ready for that new position, whatever the case may be. But this, it, this is really, really good energy that I'm picking up on for you guys. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see some of you guys might be dealing with, I see any of the uh, water signs. I see Libra here. I also see Capricorn, any of the air signs, any of the fire signs, all of the signs across the board here. But again, this situation was a little bit toxic or has been a little bit toxic because I feel like both of you guys have this obsession towards one another, except that I feel like one person is showing their obsession and the other person is not. Okay. One person is kind of pressuring the other person to show their obsession, to show their love. And the other person was a little bit resistant towards that. Okay. Okay, so I do see that at some point somebody did let this go, stop communicating. Maybe somebody ghosted another person or maybe this person thought that they could move on. But this moving on, okay, is so that this person could have this shift in perspective. Okay, so whoever is having the shift in perspective is still coming out of this gloomy situation. I feel like Aries, you might actually feel this week like you're kind of stuck in this situation where you're not sure where you stand with this person. That's why you are being shown up as the eight of swords here, okay? Okay, so, you know, there's this energy where you don't have to worry about the situation because I feel like there's this energy where um, somebody here is too focused or worried on the ending or the death of a situation that you don't really live the situation. You don't really live the journey. You don't really live moment to moment. So don't forget to enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. Enjoy each moment. Yes, maybe this person has these, these moments of fear. You know, they kind of get afraid a little bit. But I feel like ultimately this person does see you as wish fulfillment does see you as committed um like material like they want to commit to you in some kind of way shape or form they do have this sense of like you inspire them like i feel like this person feels like you inspire them to grow you inspire them to be better because look at this this is your outcome i mean the ten of cups are you guys kidding me this is a divinely guided union this person has a very strong emotional bond to you they have they feel like you kind of like um you know like these two uh these two people here it's like partners you know they, they they're in love with one another they 
they feel like home to one another. So I feel like your person, it's not that they're super like bad at commitment. It's just that they want to make sure that all of their ducks are lined up in a row. You know, like those type of personalities that want to make sure that they have their job in order, that they want to make sure that they can take care of you or the family or themselves. They want to make sure that their credit is in order before moving in together. That's the type of personality that I feel, um, you know, you have been dealing with because look at this. There's a lot of love in this connection. This ace of cups, this is brand new love, either whether you're renewing love with a person, or maybe this is a brand new person that you are starting to get to know or will start to get to know, or maybe you are attracting a brand new person into your now moment into your now reality, I feel like you will start now making it a habit, Aries, to start liking yourself more, respecting yourself more, respecting the fact that you want to allow love into your life and you don't have to chase it. You don't have to convince anybody that you are worthy of their time. I feel like you kind of went through this whole roller coaster of situation in the past. It could possibly be with this person or with somebody from your past, but I feel like you are now learning how not to do that because you're understanding now that in order to be in a healthy relationship, it has to be mutual. There has to be a reciprocity. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what this King of Pentacles is for Aries. What is this King of Pentacles here for Aries? Okay, some of you guys might be dealing with a Sagittarius. It does not have to be, but I am picking up on the energy where again, yeah, so like I said, you gave too much in your last connection. And I feel like right now you're kind of embracing this energy where you don't want to jump in too quickly, Aries, okay? You want to really weigh out the pros, the cons, the pluses and the minuses, and perhaps a little bit, you know, maybe you're the one that's a little bit worried as to, you know, how soon is this going to end instead of saying, okay, well, this is part of the journey. You know, I'm learning from this person. I'm learning how to open up and and this person is learning how to open up to me, right? So there's a there's a a different a different uh, a different excuse me a different approach that you are taking <laughs> excuse me towards this person now. Okay, so I do sense that again there's this kind of energy here that I'm picking up on where yeah maybe you know you kind of felt a little bit defensive, but I feel like you are letting down your walls or at least maybe this person who comes in they're gonna come in very maturely. Okay, they're gonna show you a side of themselves that perhaps you haven't experienced before. If this is a brand new person, this is a person who likes to kind of like uh, make sure that they in, they are investing time in something long term in something that is um, basically going to to hold out for them. You know what I mean? It's sort of like um, this person might actually test you a little bit because this person, when they commit, they commit for a very long time. So before this person commits, sometimes this person tries to test other people. So it might come across as a test, um, Aries. So just be aware of that. But I do sense here that you are understanding that again, in order to, to heal yourself, the situation, whatever the case may be, you need uh, to communicate and you need to be with a partner that also knows how to communicate towards you. Okay. You are no longer, I feel like you're no longer making it, um, making it like your your job to fix situations to fix people because you're understanding that it's 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 two people that that play a role in a connection in a and especially in a committed connection which I do see here and somebody here this week is making a decision and they're choosing love they are choosing you maybe you are the one that's choosing love okay now let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week what do my guides and angels have for Aries this week breathe archangel raphael yeah so this is just telling you you know take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release your old patterns of wanting to fix things wanting to fix people we know that aries you are a go-getter okay aries is being re always represented as a go-getter but sometimes you know you kind of have to take a step back to see what the other person is if the other person is worth your time okay if they are worth you pursuing if they are worth um you, you know, trying to, to make the situation work, you know, there, it's just time for you to step back and breathe. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see one more guidance and angel message for my beautiful Aries. One more guidance and angel message change in direction. Yeah. So it's just telling you, you are now having to embrace this week, a shift in perspective. Okay. So this shift in perspective, I feel will set 
things into motion, okay? So it's kind of like having a paradigm shift. So here we have change in direction for Aries. The changes, Aries, that you are experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow the path to the happy outcomes that you desire. Absolutely beautiful. Don't lose hope, my beautiful Aries. It is there for you, whether in the form of a brand new connection, a brand new job or fixing things with this person. Remember, don't fix too much if you see that the other person is not putting in the work, okay? All right, my beautiful Aries, this is what I have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, please do check the description box below as I now have openings and follow my new Instagram page at Gina G official as I will be posting more on there. Hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.